Hello everyone, I am Preeti from Tech Sapphire. Today we are going to demonstrate how we can host multiple domain on uh, same server and on same port. For this example, we will going to use one domain or subdomain. Also, we will see how one domain can pull resources from the different website using proxy server. Here you can see we I have this lecomesoftware.com domain and it is mapping with the localhost 8080 port and the other is api.lesimasoftware.com that is mapping with the 81 port. 8081 port uh, in on this port api is running and on the 8080 port the website is running so let's see this is our website that is running on the 88 port and it is our http request the, the api is running on 8081 port it is our API uh, http request only so these two are the http request and the proxy server should be on the HTTPS, then it will run on the proxy server. We want to host multiple websites, like you can see, it is not working right now. This is our API one, and this one is for the website. So these are not working right now. So let's move towards the code only. So I am creating proxy server with the help of HTTP proxy package and i am using this https package i have installed this package with the help of npm i command so in uh, after this i am creating one variable proxy web that is for the website and inside this i am uh, i am using the http proxy and dot create server function inside this function i am passing two parameters one is target and other is secure the target contains the path of the website that is 8080 and the next we have proxy api that contains the same target contains the api path and secure true after this we are calling the https package that is creating server Inside this create server function, we are passing this SSL set, uh, certificate and we are calling one function, uh, we are creating one function that will check for the host. If host equals to uh, like lesimasoftware.com, then it will go inside this block. Otherwise, it will go for the next else block that else we have else if here and it will check for the host again. Like if the host is api.lesimasoftware.com, then it will go inside this block. So let's discuss, uh, discuss first this one. If the condition gets true, then it will move in this block and it will check for the URL. Like if URL doesn't contain slash API, then it will move inside this block. So this block, uh, this block is calling the website. And inside the, uh, after this, we have else block. If this condition gets fa uh, false, then it will move to the else block. It will check for the URL, uh, like it will replace the slash API from the URL with slash. And after that, we are calling the API from here. If there is some error, then it will reflect error on the screen. Like it will send in response, uh, error it, uh, it will send to the uh, browser. Like here we have sent the message, oops, something went very wrong if we get error. Okay, and this proxy server is running on the port 443, that means HTTPS. We are using the listen function here. So let's see what happens if I run this project. The command is, uh, is needed, that is node index.js. If I run this command, it will show the message app is running on the port 443. Now let's see if I refresh this page. Here you can see we are getting the response from the API also and we are uh, able to access our website. This disclaimer is the, it is coming from the API only. If I select, uh, refresh this one for the API, then it is showing the message also. And if we talk about the subdomain, 
that that is our api dot lesima software dot com if i refresh this page you can see okay wait okay something went wrong so here you can see the uh, subdomain is also working api.lesimasoftware.com we are getting this response from the api so this is all about the proxy server how we can integrate multiple uh, how we can host multiple website with the help of proxy server so if you have any query regarding this then feel free to ask in comment section Thank you.